All right, this is a 600 Grizzly, the one I just got done rebuilding. And uh, when I put it back together and got it running, um, seemed to be running pretty good, but seemed a little down on power. And uh, it kind of backfire every now and then. And then um, the biggest thing that I noticed was wrong was that it was ticking quite a bit. <clears throat> well, when I put it together, I knew that it had a decompression set up on the cam. It just works off of flyweights. And there's the cam. And whenever it, <clears throat> it's always like this until you start it. And then it, the flyweights come out and there's a little, little piece rotating there. And that goes up inside the cam. When you start it up, they just slide out. <clears throat> So, I did a little reading, um, I wasn't sure what, what I had done wrong, I wasn't sure how that worked until now, um, I just put it back together, <clears throat> and uh, apparently you can get that, the little, they've got those little pins that push up inside, that fit inside the flyweights, right there, and then right there. If you get that 180 degrees out when you put it together, this little pin, which is what holds your exhaust, which it opens your exhaust valve um, a little bit on the compression stroke to bleed some compression so it starts easier. If you have that 180 degrees out, this never retracts. Right now it's fully extended and, you know, it's not out very far, but it's just enough to bleed a little compression. And see, when I pull the flyweight back, it'll go in. That's how it's supposed to work. If you have that rotate you know, the little rotating shaft in there if you have it 180 degrees out that'll never retract it'll be out the whole time so i think that was my problem um causing me to lose compression um and then uh also causing it to tick a lot sound like valve chatter so anyway i hope that'll help somebody out in the future maybe or just uh help explain how that setup works so I uh, appreciate you watching.